Hey, what is going on? This is Gerardo, and happy Sunday. Hope you're having an amazing Sunday so far. People here in the States are, for the most part, pretty excited about Super Bowl Sunday. But me, I'm more of a UFC kind of guy, and so, you know, I was uh, up watching fights last night, and so don't care much about football. <laughs> but anyway, I had a couple of thoughts uh, today that I wanted to share with you. And, um, you know, mostly because I was out here in my backyard just kind of sunbathing. And, you know, I was just thinking about how, you know, I spent this past summer, uh, most of the year actually, building out a, a home office in my backyard because, you know, since starting um, to work from home, I was using my part of my garage uh, as a office. And that was just uncomfortable. You know, there's no AC or heater or anything like that in there. And so... It just wasn't the most comfortable situation um, to try and work out of my garage. And so I didn't want to go out and rent uh, an office space because, you know, the whole point of me wanting to have an online business so that I can be home. And so I don't want to, you know, commute. So I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to build out a home office and um, and I can also use it like, a you know, as a man cave kind of thing. Um, and you know what, I might, I might actually um, want to take you inside so you can take a look. But anyway, I, I was just thinking that, you know, because I had been doing real estate since 2005. And I am not used to working with my hands. You know, I don't have that kind of skill to say, you know, build stuff, you know, use power tools and um, do labor. I'm just not used to that. And so I was really intimidated by the thought of building, um, you know, a home office because honestly, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I didn't even know what to start, like what would be the first thing, you know, I would do. Um, and so I, I decided to go with it anyways, because what other option do I have besides figuring it out, right? Um, luckily, though, my, my dad, um, you know, he's a construction guy, and so he helped me quite a bit. And... Um, although, you know, we're still working on it. There's still some work to be done. Um, it's about 90% finished. And um, pretty excited. Let's go inside. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. It is pretty messy. So just don't mind. <laughs> still got to clean and things like that. But let's check it out. So yeah, this is uh, my home office uh, that I built from scratch. Still, you know, working on it. But pretty happy with how it has come out so far. Pretty cool. And uh, that drum set right here. I'm so excited about it. And not because I play drums, I don't. Uh, I've never have played drums in my life. Um, but I always wanted to. I always wanted to learn how to play it. And so I just never had uh, the time to be able to do that. You know, when I was in real estate, I, I had no time for anything. It was always hustling, always working, always appointments, always on the phone. And so I just never had the time for anything like that, for any hobbies or anything I wanted to do. And so that's why, you know, I keep talking about starting a passion business because then, you know, you can really do whatever you want to do with your time. You know, you have time to do and focus on the things that you're passionate about, things that you want to pursue in life. Um, so anyways, what I wanted to share with you is that I wanted to have something. I wanted to build something. I was intimidated by it because I don't have experience in that and I wasn't sure what the heck I needed to do. But I went through it, figured it out. There was hiccups and challenges along the way, but we overcame them and here we are, you know? And so it's kind of the same thing with starting a passion business. You know, you might not know what the heck this is about right now. Uh, it might sound intimidating, but you know what? If you go through those steps that we outlined for you, then you can't fail. You can't fail because it's a blueprint. It's a roadmap. 
Um, all you gotta do is just follow the steps and you'll get there. And so anyway, um, I hope that this inspires you and uh, kind of gives you hope that when you set out to do something, uh, it doesn't matter how big it is, doesn't matter how intimidating uh, it might seem, just go through with it, just go, just do it. And I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it for you because change, that is how change happens. So if you want to change your life, you gotta take those steps to get to where, you, where you're at now to where you wanna be. You gotta take those steps, right? So anyway, um, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. I hope that you have an amazing rest of the weekend and we'll talk soon.